Okay, let's go ahead and finish this little guy up. Um, all right, let's go ahead and finish him up. Um, now, we're just going to kind of clean him up a little bit, in other words. And now I went and cut a hole. I'm going to put a hole in his hand. And I went and cut a, a hole, you know, for him to, to have. And um, basically, he's kind of finished. He's not, there's not a lot left except some cleaning up to do, and I can do that. You know, but, but as far as that's concerned, his, um, let me go ahead and take my V tool. Let me take my V-tool and go ahead and uh, just kind of give him a hair that way. Just kind of give him a little hair back here. I'll clean that up back there. <sighs> okay. Now, let's give him a few little patches. How's that sound, okay? Let's go ahead and right here, let's just go ahead and put a place that is, uh, open here and I drew it there and I'm going to come from the inside here and I move my knife around here Just take some, that a little bit from the inside to make it look like it is uh, uh, a hole in his coveralls there. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do a I'll, I'll do a little patch somewhere, maybe on the back or, or something like that. Okay, see that? Now, let's go behind on the, on the leg down here. Let's go ahead and, and make our, separate our shoes from our, Okay. Just kind of straighten this up a little bit. Now well, let's put a patch over here on his leg. I'm just going to kind of put a little patch like that, in other words. And when, it, when it's a patch, you, you go around just like you go around with the other one, but you cut from the outside. See? I went around. Then you come from the outside and you take that off there. Where it's a patch. 
Okay. And that will be a little patch for his leg. Otherwise, all right. Okay, now he's just about he's just about done. He is just about done. I can bring this. Now, what I want to do is um, this hole is going to fit in his hand like this. In other words. I'm going to drill a hole in his hand and come through. Now, this is cut out of three-quarter inch uh, basswood, and I'm going to bring that down, okay? We're just going to bring it down on both sides, just like this. Okay. Now, when we get up to the front up here, a hole, it's sort of goes like this in other words that the it 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 it, it comes it kind of goes like this okay the hole does so when we get up in there we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring that cut that like that in fact we can go ahead and do that now what we're gonna do we're just gonna kind of bring it in like that where it, it it gets to this point where it gets even thinner Okay, now we need to bring this this down, all this down here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to bring this all down. We're going to bring that all down. Okay. And we're going to bring this, and what we're going to do, we're going to draw a little cut here so that we don't cut into where the, the, the little uh, hole, the little uh, part of the hole that is, uh... now I'm saying hole, that's H-O-E, you know that, I mean most people already know that. And I'm going to cut a little thing across here. Well, be careful because it's thin in here. Kind of doing this little number. Okay. And let's just keep removing this. Um, this uh, wood and let's just keep removing this wood oops I want to hit this a little bit in here well the grain kind of changes in there so I want to be careful not to put too much uh, pressure on that in there This uh, tell you a little story happened this morning to me. Uh, when I came out of my the apartment upside up top of my mother's house that I live in, there was a cat started running, and uh, it's been raining a lot here, and a cat, a black cat, run off. And the minute I walked out, and I didn't think nothing of it, so. I went on downstairs and took, you know, got some things from my mother. Well, I come back, oh, probably two hours later, and there's a little white kitten, newborn kitten. I mean, she couldn't even open her eyes, uh, sitting there by my door. And obviously, this um, cat had come back and brought her kitten. Maybe it was because of the rain or whatever. Well, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I can't have a cat. So 
Uh, and I also have read that if, you know, don't touch the cat because the mother may come back and all that stuff. So uh, anyway, you're hearing a lot of, you're going to hear a lot of cackling going on between. Anyway, um, so I left the cat there and I put him in a little box. I put him in a little box and uh, cat, the mother, I thought, oh, she'd abandoned the little, the little cat. So I put him in a box and left him in front of my door last night. And every once in a while he'd wake up and whine and all that other stuff. And he was, he was really too young to feed. I mean, because, you know, people say they feed him with droppers and whatever it is. So I heard him about 1 o'clock this morning whining out there. And I just ignored him. And when I got out this morning, he was gone. That mother cat had come back in the nighttime and got that little cat, kitten, and taken it with her wherever she went. I don't know where this cat came from. I'm just saying it. it uh, uh, but that was an interesting little tidbit there. She obviously had gotten her little kitten out of the rain or whatever it was, or out of the weather, and she left him, left her there. And uh, so she stayed there a while, and then the mother came in last night. Must have come last night and got the cat and took off with it. So I was kind of glad for that because I really didn't didn't want the cat. I didn't want it. I didn't really have. I don't have room and stuff in that little apartment for any animals, and I'm not going to do that because that's not my house. Okay. But that was an interesting little thing, how the mother came back and got her and uh, took her with her. So, animals are unusual. Okay. All right, here we go with uh, our hole. Now, of course, this is going to be kind of, uh, we want to be careful when we, this is going to be kind of a, uh, 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 you know, like that. It's going to be, you know, rounded off just a little bit, in other words. And, um, we need to come even, and you want to be careful as you get this down even further, you want to be very, very careful not to, to put too much pressure on it because you can break it real easy. This is going to come down even a lot more. The handle and everything, in other words. Okay, now there's an area here where the, the handle meets and then it kind of thins out even more into uh, the, the little metal part. In other words, on the hole. So we're gonna cut a little thing there as kind of a stopping point for the handle. But that was really interesting. Cute little white cat. And it had been, I could see that it had been fed and, uh, the, you know, the mother had fed it and everything like that. And I was afraid to, to handle it too much because a lot of times I hear that if you handle a cat, a baby cat too much, then the mother will reject it. Now, I'm, I'm, I may be wrong on that. But, uh, so I didn't handle it a whole lot. Uh, so, uh. I just uh, quit handling it. Now, if the cat hadn't have come back, uh, I would have probably taken it down to the Humane Society and and let them deal with it. Because I, I don't have room for, or for a cat around the house, and it's not my house, so I couldn't naturally. Uh, and my mother doesn't like cats, so uh, I wasn't going to be able to keep it. So I would have brought it down to the Humane Society or something and let them deal with it. Cute little thing, like I said. She come back and got it, so. We have a back porch, see. We didn't know how she had gotten on the back porch here, 
because um, it's closed off. But somehow she had gone through a, gotten on it, so I don't know how she did it, but she got back upstairs again. All right, now let's look at our little hole here. And it, it's, it's a little bit, probably a little bit long, maybe not all that much long in such a way, but it's gonna, it's gonna fit in his hand. But it's gonna have to come down a whole lot more. But what we wanna do is we wanna cut this area in here and we wanna bring it down a lot. We wanna thin that up a whole lot. But be careful in that area because, because we, wanna, we don't want to break it. That's the key. We don't wanna break it. sort of do this number see so like that and this handle is going to have to come down even more also it's, it's it's still too too large for his his hands but um, we're going to uh, We have been, it has been raining like crazy. I just got a little area, a little time that between rains here. We have had a tremendous amount of rain down here. And uh, we uh, just had a lot, so. Grain changes in here, so you want to be very, very careful. Um, when you get into these areas, you want to be careful and not. Um, not do too much I'm just sort of cutting this uh, little handle here and we're going to kind of cut but you want to be careful because this is you're going against the grain here but you see see the little hole that we Okay, just like that. And we want to be careful because, uh, like I said, you're going against the grain. So you want to be light. Okay, so you're gonna fit in his hand like that, in other words. And we wanna take a little bit, it's a little bit big. We wanna take some of the sides off here on each side. Okay, and we want to bring that down even some more. I want to make the handle as thin as I possibly can. Not so thin that we can't uh,
Okay. You really have to hold this because this is close work. So you have to kind of hold it and make sure you can get it done. See how I drag my knife? See how I just drag it along there? And it, it, it's sharp enough to just take. I don't, I don't try to dig deep or anything. I just take my knife and I just drag it. I just barely drag it along there and it takes a little bit off because if you put too much pressure, you're gonna break. When you get in this thin, you're gonna break the piece and then you're gonna have to start over. So I um, don't want to do that. I'm gonna thin this up a little bit too. This is this is not an easy thing to do, but I'm gonna run my knife and thin this up a little bit in here. No, I don't want to go sideways. I may take my little sander and just thin that down a little bit. In other words, because I'm getting so thin now that. Um, that uh, I'm gonna break it if I get too too thin on here. Or I can take my little moto tool and my little sander and uh, do it. Okay, I think I've got it down enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole through the hand, put it through the hand, in other words, and then uh, when I get through with it, I'll show you the uh, finished piece, okay? All right, well, um, let, me, let me go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll come back, all right? God bless.